Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how exactly to save your drawing as a PDF or say plot it to a PDF. Uh, this question comes up quite a bit and isn't exactly straightforward within the plot and layout manager. Uh, so we're going to be taking a look at exactly how to do that today. Uh, if you guys like this video or any of the tips on the channel, don't forget to check out my AutoCAD productivity webinar, as well as my brand new AutoCAD fundamentals and workflows course. Uh, I'm going to put a link to both down in the description below, as well as up above. Uh, be sure to check those out. You can get a discount on them right now. All right, let's get into the video. <laughs> As always with the two minute Tuesdays, we're gonna try and keep this one quick. Uh, so you can see here, I've got a layout set up. This will also work in model space. And after we do this once in paper space or layout space here, I'm gonna show you how to do it in model space as well. Uh, but to start, you're gonna to wanna to type in plot and hit enter, or you can also right click on the tab you would like to print or convert to a PDF and choose plot. From the plot dialog box, uh, what you're really looking for here is the printer or plotter dropdown. If you hit this dropdown here, you're probably going to see your plotter if you're working in an office or printer uh, if you're at home or the office. But what you want uh, is any of the ones that are going to plot to PDF here. Uh, my favorite and the standard or typical one that I'll use is DWG to PDF. You can see the plotter is called DWG to PDF, PDF ePlot by Autodesk. This is the basic standard one uh, and it's going to give you a good result every time. Uh, now you can kind of customize and set up some of the options as you move forward. If you're not familiar with the plot dialog box in general, we'll run through a few of these quickly. So the PDF options is the one new one that'll come up when you choose PDF there. Uh, and it's got a few different options for you to choose from. This first one I like to have checked on and that's gonna open up the PDF when it's finished plotting so that you can see the result. Uh, next up is a few quality sliders or selectors here. Uh, you could probably leave it with the standard or default. If you'd like to turn them up for a better quality uh, plot, that's perfectly fine as well. And then you've got merge control. This is just gonna show how it's gonna plot lines when they're on top of each other, whether they're gonna overlay or overwrite based on your draw orders or merge, kind of merging into a single line so you're not gonna see them quite as well, the different layering. Uh, and then down below, you can choose which data is included in your PDF. You probably wanna leave most on. You can uncheck bookmarks and hyperlinks since you're probably not gonna have those. Uh, but in general, you're gonna want your layer information on as well as any of the fonts included as well to prevent any errors later on when opening them. When you made these choices here, you can hit okay. Uh, and it's gonna ask you if you'd like to save these changes somewhere. You can apply the changes for the current drawing only, or you can save out a new printer configuration file. For our case, we're just gonna apply these for this existing drawing since I don't wanna change my printer setup files. Uh, from here, you're gonna to wanna to set up your usual plot settings. So in the top right here, choosing a plot style table, which is going to dictate how any colors are plotted uh, as well as layers and that kind of thing. Uh, I've got a video going into that if you search the channel, uh, but in general, I'm gonna either use the standard AutoCAD one or a custom one that I typically use, which I teach in my fundamentals course that I mentioned earlier. Again, the link is gonna be down below where we go through uh, setting up a template and which plot styles work well with uh, which colors and templates. You can always check to see how these are going to turn out by using the preview. So let's choose the default AutoCAD or ACAD CTB and hit preview. You can see that any colors are gonna print out as color uh, and grayscale in the drawing is gonna print out as gray. If you choose to say a, choose to switch to say a grayscale CTB, everything's gonna print out in grayscale, uh, which is varying degrees of gray. So you can see the left here has lighter grays and the right is gray to black. And then another option would be monochrome, which is all uh, simply just black, similar line. Uh, in general, I like, again, the grayscale 
or in a lot of cases, the color, depending on the type of project I'm working on. Let's just use grayscale for our example. Next up is the standard plot setup. So you can choose a quality. Uh, this is just gonna change how large your file is and the quality uh, of the image. Uh, on the bottom left here, you're gonna wanna make sure your paper size is set to match your layout. In our case, we're using uh, Arch Expanded D, which is 24 by, or 24 by 36. Uh, with a very minimal uh, plot border here or margin. Uh, next up is the plot area, and this is the extent that's going to get plotted. In this case, we're set to layout, which is going to print the entire layout, which is everything that's shown in white here. You can also switch this to display, which is going to print everything seen in your display. Extents, which is going to plot anything in the extent of your entire layout. So if you were to exit this dialog and zoom extents, it's going to print everything that comes in. The next option would be a layout, which is where we started, as well as window, which is going to allow you to choose a window. This can be helpful if you'd only like to test plot a certain area of your drawing. I just selected the one viewport, and when I preview, it's only going to print what I selected, cropping out the rest. Most of the time, and in general, you're going to use a layout uh, and not offset anything that keeps the origin or the uh, bottom left corner here at zero, zero leaving everything the way you've probably already got it set up. Uh, next up is the scale. Typically, you're going to leave this at one to one, assuming your layout has scaled properly. Next, you can choose your orientation, portrait or landscape and a few different plot options. Once this is all set up, you can apply all of these settings to this layout and that's going to save this for the next time you plot this exact layout. Hitting OK, we're going to get a dialog that asks us where we would like to plot our PDF. I've got a folder here for an example PDF. I'm going to call it example PDF. And test one. And we're going to hit enter to plot. Once finished, you're going to get the PDF popping up. Mine was on the other screen there. And you can see our completed and finished PDF. You can see up at the top here, we've got example PDF test one dot PDF. And you can also see in the bottom right here that our plot and publish job was complete with no errors or warnings. By selecting it, it's also going to show you if you had any errors, it'll tell you what they were. It's also going to show you the path in order to find your file quickly whether you're looking for the DWG drawing or the PDF down here. So we're going to run through the process once more really quickly. I'm going to switch to model space here by typing in model. And we're going to print this color coded floor plan here. So we're going to type in plot to bring up the dialog box. You're going to want to select your DWG to PDF again for your printer plotter. This time we're going to use window and we're going to choose our window by clicking here. And we're simply going to plot our layout. Now you can preview this and see that it's printing out on our sheet. You can also change up any of the settings to the right here. We're going to leave our uh, plot style as none because I'd like all these colors to plot out just as they're being seen in the drawing. And you can apply this to your layout here. That's going to apply that to your model space. These are going to be the consistent settings now. Hitting OK, we're going to get that same dialog again. I'm going to just change my numbering here to number two hit enter and now we've got a PDF of our floor plan uh, that's simply just showing exactly what's in model space there's no title block there's no scale or text uh, but if you need a quick thing to print out as a sketch or something to mark up that's the easiest way to do it all right so that's how you can save as or plot to PDF within AutoCAD I hope that was all pretty clear and easy to follow if you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave them down in the comments below. Uh, and if you like this or want to learn more about AutoCAD and some of the basics, fundamentals and workflows, check out my productivity webinar and course down below. Uh, again, those are on sale and discounted for viewers using those links. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.